Hey everybody, this is Jeff from the Overwatch team. We're bringing you another developer update so you know what's going on in the beta. Things have been going awesome so far. Your participation has been fantastic. For those of you not in the beta, we've also really appreciated hearing all your thoughts and concerns and ideas um, in the community. That's been pretty amazing. So as you guys know, we just put out uh, a decent sized patch for the beta. There were a lot of under the hood changes that we were working on. One of the areas that we're most excited about to explore in this beta test is matchmaking. So there's some key matchmaking things that we're going to experiment with uh, this time around. And I, I sort of want to apologize in advance because there might be moments where you get some imbalanced matches. There might be moments where you have to wait a little bit longer for matches. We actually think it'll be the opposite, that you'll get matches quicker, but they probably might not seem as fair um, because we're doing a lot of experimentation. Um, that's the whole point of being in beta, is to do stuff like this. Uh, we're gathering a ton of uh, data to run against our simulations, so even if you're playing matches and they don't feel exactly perfect, I hope it brings you um, some sense of wholeness to your soul, knowing that you are helping the game. Um, and we really appreciate you guys doing that. You'll also notice a new feature uh, during the end of round flow that we added to help with our matchmaking. And what that feature is, is something called rate this match. So you'll have the ability in the end of round flow to actually click on an interface and say, I had a really positive or negative experience. Um, and that's gonna help us tremendously in a lot of different ways. We really appreciate if you, you know, let us know, was it a positive or a negative match? The other thing that will be in this new beta patch is something called rate the other players in the match. And what you can do there is if there was a particular player who you really enjoyed playing with or did not enjoy playing with, please let us know through that interface. Again, it's, a, it's an experiment and we might try all sorts of different things with it but it really helps us gather data to let us know, is the matchmaking system doing what we want um, or do we need to adjust it? So we appreciate your patience with the matchmaker. It's actually been fantastic for us. We've done a number of changes. We know that there's not a, a ton of transparency and visibility into what's happening, but know that we're really working hard on it and there's, there's a lot of data that we're gathering um, throughout the process. So the other thing that I know you guys are always interested in is hero balance. And um, just by you playing matches, we're gathering a ton of great information that helps us know how to balance the heroes. Um, we're also getting to play a uh, tremendous amount alongside of you guys. Um, so we're getting our own anecdotal sense of where the, the hero balance is as well. Um, we did a recent patch a few weeks ago. Most of you will remember it where we made some changes. Um, and there was a lot that, of good that came out of that. We made changes to Symmetra, which we think were, were overall quality of life changes. We increased the, the time at which you could play shields on your allies. And we also uh, tweaked her turret cooldown a bunch. And we're, we're feeling really strong about these. We feel like it made Symmetra a lot more viable on offense, not just on defense. And it also made the Symmetra playstyle a lot more active um, there's a lot more of an action-y vibe when you play her. You feel like you can quickly set up an area. If Winston comes along and takes out your turret nest, you can recover quickly from it. So we're feeling pretty good about the Symmetra changes. Uh, one of the changes that we're not feeling great about is the tweak we did to Mercy's Resurrection. For those of you who don't know, we, we instead of having the second you press the ultimate button, resurrecting everybody on your team, we delayed the ultimate to the end of the animation that Mercy does. This caused a lot of weirdness with respawn and the animation. It also made the ability not feel as responsive as it did before. We do feel like Mercy's resurrection is a little bit powerful right now and we were trying to tone it down a bit, but we recognize that we toned it down in the wrong way. So we're gonna explore other ways. We had a lot of other ideas of what to do um, I don't have an ETA for you guys. I know you're wondering, like, well, why didn't you change it right now? Um, things don't always work as fast as we want them to, but we're going to get to it eventually. 
Um, we also had made a change to McCree where we, we brought in his range a little bit because he was a very powerful sniper. He was a great mid-range skirmisher. And as you guys know, with that flashbang, he's really effective at close range as well. Uh, we're feeling pretty good about the McCree changes at, as of right now. We know that there was some backlash, um, particularly amongst McCree players, um, wishing that he was still as powerful as he was before. Uh, we recently watched a competitive tournament where McCree performed really well in a highly competitive environment. So we're feeling pretty good about McCree overall. And we still have a lot of beta left, uh, so there's a lot of time to tweak on him and get him to the right place. Um, lastly, some of you are wondering, you know, what other heroes are kind of on our radar? And what else do we want to address as the beta goes on? Um, one, there's, there's a particular uh, two heroes that are a little bit tricky for us, and they are Bastion and Torbjorn. Uh, and I want to talk a little bit about them and, and what the issue is. So as new players approach the game, they tend to have trouble with three things, Torbjorn, Bastion, and um, attacking. Uh, they, they tend to feel like defense always wins, that Bastion's overpowered, and Torbjorn is impossible to beat his turret. Conversely, as players have more time with the game, they've sort of learned what's going on a little bit more, and they've had a little bit more experience with Overwatch, they almost feel the opposite. They start to feel like attackers win more of the time, that um, Bastion and Torbjorn are not really competitive in terms of competitive play. So this is something that's very much in discussions right now, particularly amongst the design team. We've tried some pretty radical changes internally that we're not quite ready to go live with just yet. We, we, we kind of like to push very far and then pull back a little bit. But I think sometime in the future, I, I don't think you'll see um, radical changes to Torbjorn and Bastion this year. But I think early next year, you can probably expect some tweaks to them. And what we're looking to do is to make Torbjorn and Bastion not feel as devastating to brand new players of the game and to feel way more viable in, in competitive setups later on. So that's something we're thinking a lot about. Um, we welcome your thoughts and feedback. We know you guys have a ton of ideas. You guys think very deeply about this game. We've listened to a lot of your feedback in the past. So we're excited to see where the discussion goes. We have some things that we're going to try, and that's something for you guys to look forward to. Um, other than that, we're super excited that we have our beta test weekend coming up. We're hoping to expose a whole new group of players to Overwatch. It's going to really help us to have all of you guys uh, playing the games. We're going to be looking at our server infrastructure and seeing how that's holding up. We'll probably scale things back and forward a bunch, so expect some rocky times. They're, they're going to be very deliberate during that, um, that weekend. Um, we'll also be looking heavily at the matchmaker because there's a lot of new changes going in on the matchmaker, and we're going to see them all play out during the weekend. And we're also always looking for subjective feedback on the design and balance of the game. So thank you guys so much. The discussion has been awesome. If you have other topics that you'd like us to discuss in these developer updates, we totally welcome those. Um, thanks so much, and we'll catch up with you guys soon. Thank you.